Hello Fighters! Russ Mero here and today we are going to be opening the very first extra booster in the Vanguard V series, the Destructive Roar! 12 packs in total with 7 cards each, let's get right into this with the very first pack of this Destructive Roar booster box opening. Alright, I'll just focus on the cards for you guys and it looks like we are starting off with a Mega Colony card, Banner N. Spike Brothers, Hachikaze, and our rare is going to be Attempt Mammoth, followed by- Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, okay, it looks like we just started off right off the bat with a triple rare in this booster box opening, and it's going to be from Spike Brothers, Spike Bouncer, and it's going to be a great two. So let's take a look at the cards behind first. We get one Crit Trigger from Mega Colony and one from Spike Brothers, but now let's take a look at Spike Bouncer. So when Spike Bouncer appears on either the Vanguard or the Rear Guard Circle, you can Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1 in order to look at a number of cards from the top of your deck equivalent to the grade of your Vanguard. So that's a maximum of 3, and then you can call up to one of them to a Rear Guard Circle and move the rest to the bottom of your deck in any order that you like. Secondly, while Spike Bouncer is one of your Rear Guards, at the end of a battle in which this unit attack, you can Counter Blast 1 in order to move this unit into the Soul and then draw one card. So typical stuff from Spike Brothers right there, like sort of getting the extra rear guards and then being able to like shuffle out of the field during the battle phase and give you additional resources as well. So that was a pretty nice start to this booster box opening. Unfortunately, uh, of the three clans available in this set, I'm much more used to like, or rather, oh, anyway, let's just take a look at this rare first, and we're lucky enough to be able to pull Bloody Hercules. Definitely love this guy from the original generation of Vanguard, and our next rare is gonna be Fierce Claw Dragon, Lacerate Rex, and oh, a stand trigger for Tachikaze, and a draw trigger for Mega Colony. So, it looks like the last two cards are always gonna be the draw triggers, but yeah, going back to when I was playing the original generation of Vanguard, two of my most favorite clans of all time would actually have to be Tachikaze and Mega Colony. My favorite is Dimension Police, of course, but like, second and third place would definitely be Tachikaze and Mega Colony. So, I'm really happy that like, they are making like, but they are like releasing this set in the V-series so early on so I can finally get the cards of this set of these two clans and our rare is now going to be Treasured Black Panther of course and oh it looks like oh man but it's another foil for Spike Brothers and it's going to be a double rare this time we are getting the draw trigger perfect guard for Spike Brothers and it's going to be Cheer Girl Marilyn so Probably nothing behind that, oh, but it looks like, yeah, it's just going to be grade 0, so other than the triggers, the last two cards at the back of the pack can be like a uh, starting, starting, bang, starting vanguards at grade 0 as well. But yeah, really happy that they're releasing Tachikaze and Mega Colony support so early, so uh, it kind of sucks to get like all the mech, the first two fours as Mega Colony, really hoping that we manage to pull our VR as either Machining Spark Hercules or Giga Rex. And so our first rare in this pack is going to be Spiteful Hopper. As well as a rare from Tachikaze, it's going to be Savage King. One of the few humans in uh, Tachikaze. And then heal triggers for both Mega Colony and Spike Brothers. So that is four packs down so far with two foils. So let's look forward to the rest of what we'll be able to pull in this set. I'm not too sure what the ratios are like for the extra boosters in the V-series. I mean, because this is the very first uh, E-booster in the V-series after all. And our first rare is going to be from Spike Brothers, Commander Gaily Ganon. And followed by what looks like a double rare. So this is going to be Machining Hornet. Its effect can be used both as a Vanguard or a Rearguard. When its attack or an attack that it boosts hits the opponent's Vanguard, you can look at the top 6 cards of your deck, reveal up to 1 Greek Tree from among them and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. If you added a card to your hand and Machining Hornet is in your rear guard circle, then you'll have to move Machining Hornet into the soul. So that's going to be a great tree search for Mega Colony. And I just have to say that from like, the trigger cards are just looking so epic, like for the new rebooted like uh, Mega Colony cards. Like, I don't know if you guys would agree, but in the past, while I like to use Mega Colony, I didn't think the machining cards looked that, co look that cool. But suddenly they look really awesome in like this new, uh, the new V series with like their updated artwork. And oh, it looks like we're getting a rare quite early in the form of Wonder Boy. I definitely remember this card from the old Vanguard. And yes, it looks like we are getting a triple rare now from Mega Colony. Very nice. And it's gonna be Machining Stag Beetle. 
So as one of the key Mega Colony Vanguard stack, Beetle has the Imaginary Gift Protect marker. When this card arrives on the Vanguard or Rearguard circle from the hand, you can call up to two Rearguards from your soul in the rest position. And if stack Beetle is in the Vanguard circle, you can add the original attack of all the units called this way to its attack until the end of the turn. So it can be quite a destructive attacker in that sense. And looks like we're just gonna get a... Uh, oh wait, oh! Oh, three critical triggers at the end of that, alright. So I'm still like not too used to like the Vanguard V series and like how the cards are arranged in the packs. So I apologize if I like stumble a bit here and there because like sometimes I may be expecting something but nothing really happens and like all the opposite. Alright, let's keep going into this next pack. And oh yes, this is definitely a card I wanted and it's the rare Water Gang. Definitely one of my favourite cards from the old Mega Colony as well and it looks like we're following that up immediately with a double rare from Touch Kaze. So this is going to be Assault Dragon Brightops. This is definitely one of the key cards they actually revealed earlier on before the release of this set. When this card is retired from a rearguard circle, you can counter plus one in order to add up to two cards from Brightops Armament Gauge to your hand. So it's definitely an excellent card for like conserving the cards from your armament gauge when Brightops is about to be retired. Either by your opponent, if like maybe they are using Kagero or something like that, or if you're gonna retire it yourself in order to support one of your other like uh, Tachikaze Vanguard or other cards effects. So I guess that's pretty good. We like sort of fought back against like the Spike Brother spam, but it looks like our rare is gonna be a generic perfect guard for Mega Colony. For oh yes! Alright, so so Spike Brothers is definitely the clan in this set that I'm least interested in, but if there's one Spike Brothers fall that I definitely thought I wouldn't mind pulling, it's definitely the Retrain of Juggernaut Maximum. So Juggernaut Maximum is going to be a triple rare with a false imaginary gift marker. When Maximum arrives on either the Vanguard or Rearguard circle, during this turn Maximum gets plus 10k power. So making it ideal for Spike Brothers, you can use it as like a Rearguard to appear during the battle phase. And when Maximum is in a Rearguard circle at the start of the main phase, you can move Maximum into the soul in order to search for another Juggernaut Maximum from your deck and call it to the rearguard circle and then shuffle your deck. So in this way, you can like keep maintaining the power of your lines by keep on like reshuffling the Juggernaut Maximums if you don't get rid of the ones you have in on the previous turn. So that's really nice. It's like really suitable as both like a Vanguard or Rearguard, although pre preferentially I think you'd want it as a Rearguard instead, but it's like even if you're forced to ride it, you can still get the Imaginary Gift Force Marker, so that's really nice as well. So let's move on right into the next pack and our rare is going to be Winged Dragon Sky Terra. Another old card and immediately after that we are getting another double rare in the form of Sonic Noah. So first of all, when Sonic Noah is a rear guard and it boosts another rear guard, you can add one card from the top of your deck face down to the armament gauge of the boosted card. So Sonic Noah plays a really important role in the new Tachikaze as like the armament gauge booster. And when Sonic Noah is in either the Vanguard or rear guard circle, and when it's attack or a attack that it boosts hits the opponent's Vanguard, you can retire another one of your rear guards in order to draw one card. So overall, a lot of like resource management interaction over there with Sonic Noah, which I definitely don't mind because I mean. I always, back in the old Tachikaze as well, I always liked the design of Sonic Noah like, but back then it wasn't like one of like the best cards or like the important cards to play so it's really cool to see that he plays a really key and vital role in the new uh, Tachikaze so that's really nice and another rare in form of Bloody Hercules, nice to have two of that oh, oh wait, I think I saw a fall behind it but I, I didn't see it enough but let's just take a look at this rare first and it's gonna be the Fierce Claw Dragon L Lacerate Rex and now the fall is gonna be... Oh, wait a minute! This is a VR, a Vanguard Rare, and it's gonna be the Rampage Dragon Death Rex. Okay, wait a minute, I paused the video a bit because like, even though I thought it was a VR at first, the, the foiling looked like really strange, like this was not the foiling of the Dragonic Waterfall I uh, pulled in Assemble Team Q4. So I paused the video a bit and checked, and this is an Origin Rare, no wonder it looks like a bit familiar because this isn't like the updated art of Death Rex, this is the original artwork of Death Rex. So, this is an Origin Rare. And my first Origin Rare of the Vanguard V series, which is super epic because like in my Assemble Team Q4 booster, I got a SVR, and now in my EB01 Destructive Rare, I'm getting one Origin Rare, which is really awesome. But now let's get right into Death Rex's effect. So when Tyrant Death Rex attacks a Vanguard, you can Soul Blast one and retire another one of your rear guards. 
first select one of the opponent's rear guards in the front row and retire it, then Defrax will gain power plus 10k until the end of turn for each armament gauge that your retired unit possesses. So in doing so you get to like retire and destroy like the enemy's lines at the same time while also giving Defrax an immense boost depending on the armament gauge that you have available. And the worst part of this effect is, or perhaps the best part of this effect is that it can be used both when Defrax is in the Vanguard or the rear guard circle, so it is really quite the vicious card to play. And now, yep, we're just gonna finish off with great zeros and we are down to two last packs. Like, okay, I, I kind of want to count how many foils I have really, but like, I've lost track. I know I've got, I've definitely got one, oh, like, I just got one origin rare and I've definitely got two vanguard rares, I think. I mean, two uh, triple rares. So I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll be able to pull another one. And now this is High Speed Bracky. I'm pretty sure if you play Vega enough, you'll recognize this card. And Phantom Black, another familiar looking card. Followed by the two great zeros at the back of the pack. And finally, our final pack. So let's see what we managed to get. If memory serves, I think we got a lot of double rares already. So I'm pretty sure we've already had our fill of double rares. So if we do get one more foil, I'm hoping that it's going to be a triple rare and hopefully it is going to be like something useful for Mega Colony. And it looks like we're getting a generic perfect guard for Tachikaze. And oh, oh alright, so it looks like this is going to be a double rare. So Alright, looks like I was missing one double rare after all and it's going to be the draw, draw trigger perfect guard for Tachikaze which is quite nice because I mean since I pulled Death Rex, I guess I'm most leaning towards building Tachikaze now and that will be followed by two triggers and that will be the end. Also, this box did come with a single pack which comes with one of each variety of imaginary gift marker including a force marker featuring General G3. So we got one origin rare followed by three triple rares as well as five double rares. So the double rares, most of the cards I got were from Tachikaze which fits with the death rex I pulled as origin but most of the triple rares were Spike Brothers so I actually have no idea what this box wants me to build but I guess based on what I pulled I'm sort of leaning towards Tachikaze right now which is kind of funny since I did pull the SV are Perfect Riser in Assemble Team Q4 so I guess so far in the start of the Vanguard V series I'm kind of leaning towards building Axel so I guess I should look forward to the release of uh, Aqua Force next month as well. So if you enjoyed this video do give it a like and let me know what you guys think about these three new clans just released in the comment section down below. Definitely looking forward to see how Tachikaze and Mega Colony will play in the new Vanguard V series and of course don't forget to subscribe for future Vanguard box openings on the day of release for the V series. So our next release will be next month on the 20th of July featuring both Trial Deck O3 Leon Soryu and the debut of the Aqua Force Clan as well as Extra Booster O2 Champions of the Asia Circuit which will feature the debut of my favourite clan Dimension Police so I'm super looking forward to that. And with that, hope to see you guys in the next Vanguard video. Break your spell, Vanguard! The dark will drown in it.